What is up, YouTube? We are back again with another video. What else would we be doing on YouTube? Hello, and how are you feeling? You got Robotnik here. Check it out. Iola, Retro, Gamer, Dad, make it happen. Not sure what I was going to do for this video, guys. Uh, I have talked in the last few videos in the past about how I've been laying off on picking up video games. I've kind of actually been selling and going through my collection and really just thinning it out. Uh, I got, I've been selling some Tiger Electronic games that I'm never going to play in my youngest son I thought maybe at one point he'd be into them and I liked to collect them at one point because they did hold a lot of nostalgia for me as a kid but the problem is they're just not holding it you know I'm just not into it anymore I've been going through games games that I'm not gonna play that I've been noticing that are actually hold a little bit of value and this has all been leading up to you know one of my greatest pickups uh, so far this year literally literally one of the better pickups I literally bought a pickup. I mean, that's that's what it's about. I will try and show a picture over here or over here, whichever one works better for visual wise. But I have more uh, adult responsibilities now, and I'm just kind of been laying off buying so many games. I've been trying just to get games that I want. And if you've watched the the first episode of uh, Let's Talk Retro. I talk with Kamikaze Kun a lot about how it's just because lately uh, I've been wanting to focus maybe going back towards more gaming instead of collecting. I've been, I have my retro pie with thousands and thousands of games on it. I have hundreds of games laying around here that aren't even getting touched. I'm backing off on the buying guys and as a kind of a reward for myself and with my wife's permission, <laughs> my wife's permission, of course, I had to get that. I did pick up a pickup. I didn't physically pick it up. I drove it here. But you know what I mean. And that's been awesome. Uh, and I, I had not done a video about this yet. I was going to get to this at some point, too. Um, I don't know how well that's showing up on the camera right now because it looks weird from this angle. But I was able to get uh, a variation, you know, the Super Mario Brothers 3 variation on my arm, which has been amazing and so cool. Uh, I, I still need to get it touched up a little bit more, but it was an awesome, awesome treat for myself back in May, I believe it was. My wife was able to get a couple tattoos she wanted, and while we were, you know, leading up to the day, we were talking more and more about it, and we came down to the conclusion, you know, I said, well, I've always wanted to get a Mario tattoo, and she's like, well, get one. I was like, well, I don't know, you know, I, I was kind of pulling that. But again, you know, yeah, she talked me into it. She said, well, just get one. And I'm like, I should just get one. Pick one you want. And I'm like, all right, all right. So that's pretty awesome, guys. And I, I was so happy to get that. I know um, in September, I'm going to try and get another one. But this one's going to be more of a personal one to myself. Uh, as a lot of you know, I've been sober now for about eight years. Uh, in, in September it'll be eight years and I want to get sobriety or sober basically tattooed across my left wrist because this arm has been kind of gonna stick with just black tattoos and I think I might start at some point doing a video game pop culture movie whatever uh, sleeve on this one so that's kind of what's been going on with that now I was as we were talking with this podcast the other night when we streamed it with Kamikaze Kun Budget Gaming asked me what has been selling and what have I been telling because I I mentioned in there that I have two to three hundred dollars in sales this month and it really has not been heavy hitters you know it's been little stuff here and there uh, maybe some stuff that I picked up at one point that I was going to resell and I finally did like I picked up a VCR from Goodwill for five bucks ended up selling it for twenty dollars plus shipping so I made about a fifteen dollar profit on that I've been Going through video games and finding ones like I was saying that were I was surprised at how much they were worth and just decided to finally list them, guys. Uh, and I think uh, Tony Hawk 
American Wasteland for 360. I looked it up in price charting. It's going for about 25 bucks complete. I ended up selling it for 20 bucks. There was, I can't think off the top of my head the other one. Um, well, I can't just think of it right now, but oh, the Spider-Man foe, enemy and foe, enemy or foe or friend or foe or something like that. And that one sold for like 25 bucks too. So that and I was selling these little Tiger Electronics off for about 15 to 20 bucks a pop and old Legos that are just laying around that I, I got to the point guys where I was I was buying stuff and I was having nowhere to put them I was I was coming down here looking on the shelves and like well, where am I gonna put this and it was stuff I actually really wanted instead of stuff over time that I've just accrued uh, I, was, I was trying to build a, a nice backdrop and I want to kind of move this backdrop a little bit more over that way so you guys can see all this stuff and it's just there's so much to do here I almost want to set up various different areas around here for backdrops so we have more stuff to shoot that I could show off because I have all this stuff that I've amassed that has you no know, value to me nostalgia and stuff like that but I don't know guys it's almost coming down to the one point where I was thinking about selling you know off a hundred or two hundred games so I can get games that I want, you know, that I'm having installed it for. I, I've been looking for a copy of Breath of Fire 3. I've been really wanting one of those. Um, I, I still do not have a final copy of Final Fantasy 7. I've been looking for a legit copy of that. Uh, and it's just been... And that's kind of what's been going on, guys. I, I know... And somebody was asking me the other day, where, when am I going to have a pickup video, or whenever I had pickups. And, I, and it seems like every time I say that I'm not going to have another pickup video, fingers crossed an amazing pickup happens last time I said I wasn't gonna get any more games I think I got uh, all these NES box games behind me for like a hundred bucks plus two systems and then the other time that I said that a co-worker offered me he was gonna give it to me for free but a Wii U plus a bunch of Wii U games and all that stu stuff and I just, like, it seems like every time I say I'm not gonna collect I'm not looking for any pickups they come so this time I'm serious karma I do not want any more pickups you listening let's hope we get some Genesis games or something but guys that's what's going on um, I, we celebrated 800 subscribers usually I do a giveaway when I hit a big milestone like that but I just did a nice big one at 750 uh, I think that I might be uh, after I get done recording this, and this will probably be released much later. But I'm gonna do a shit or a short or shit. I'm gonna do a short, quick, uh, basically asking people for Q and A. I'll, I'll do an 800 sub Q and A special. Uh, what else is also going on right now is I started my annual Christmas toy campaign uh, charity thing. Last year we raised $500. We helped 20 to 30 families Christmas by viewers like you, local uh, friends, employees, or not my employees, but co-workers as you say, and we raised $500 last year. This year we smashed that in two freaking days. I think we're over $600 right now, which has been crazy awesome. I was, I set the goal for 300 bucks because I didn't know how well it was gonna do. I know last year I had to put a decent amount of my money towards it to kind of keep it alive. And now, I'm, it's just awesome guys. I can't wait till, till November, um, early December to finally film that, to go to Walmart. Last year we, we filled three carts. If we keep this up this year, we might have to, I might have to have somebody come else, somebody else come with us besides me and my wife because we'll have so much stuff going around. And it's just, it's. This community is amazing, guys. I, I want to talk more about this. But this has just been kind of a quick update what's going on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys. I hope you think well, like my truck. I just that's been uh, I'm, it's been amazing, and I've just been so happy to drive that around. I, I some of you know I had a Dodge Charger before, but family man that I am, it was becoming less and less practical to have a Hemi engine and more on ones. I want a space and I want stuff I can use to haul stuff. As you guys know how it is. You see one of those amazing CRTVs pop up on Marketplace or something. If you don't have a big enough vehicle to pick them up, it's very sad. Very sad indeed. Uh, hope you 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, you know, showing off the Mario tattoo. Talking about the game room. Uh, I, I'm thinking about doing a silent auction coming up for an NES starter kit, basically. The an NES uh, controller too, and maybe a couple games, and doing a silent auction for the the charity, just for something you know fun to do too. As always, when I do these charity campaigns and stuff, I will do a live stream at the end to help raise more money. And during that live stream, I will be doing giving away video games too, so you guys all stay for stay around for that. That'll be in a few months now, um, and I'm done talking. Thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. I hope you had a great day, week, month. July is almost over, guys. We're halfway through it. Before you know it, school and stuff will be starting. So, you guys got school this August. Sucks to you, guys. I'm out.